Unroll and place the mat on a flat and even surface that is clear of debris. Slide the mat against the bottom border wall and align it centrally. When table size and mat placement are correct, the areas to the left, right, and top of the mat should match that shown. Teams can practice without an official table or border walls, but competitions will be held on an official table in a tournament setup, as shown. Please practice with this in mind and remember to mark out the space needed for home on each side of the mat. Official table building instructions and guidance on how to use the mat on the floor can be found on the Season Resources page. In competitions, remember that volunteers work hard to get the fields just right, but you should expect and design for rare imperfections such as bumps under the mat or changes in light. You will find sheets of dual lock squares in the challenge set to secure the models to the mat. Dual lock is a critical part of the field setup process. The mat and location of the mission models will vary each season. The squares on the mat with the X inside show where to apply the dual lock. Next, we will demonstrate how to apply the dual lock. When pressing down on a model, be sure to press on its base instead of pressing from higher up. To remove the model from the mat, lift it from its base to separate the dual lock. Now we will show you how to place and position your models in the field setup position, which should be done at the start of each match. Place the model on the mat as well as all relevant loose parts. Before and after each match, make sure the model is in the correct setup position.
Your field is now set up and you are ready to play the first LEGO League Challenge robot game. Remember to read the robot game rulebook and to check for any updates during the season. A video that describes mission scoring requirements can be found on the Season Resource page. Good luck, teams!